Hey YouTubers, I have an unboxing. This is pretty exciting. Um, what this unboxing is, is for a Grace M9XXX, bleh, 9XX, Mass Drop Special headphone amp and DAC. This is my first Mass Drop purchase, and I'm pretty excited about opening this. So what is the Grace M9XX? It's a special edition Grace Designs headphone amplifier and DAC. And uh, seems like I have plenty of those, but I don't know. You can never have too many. And I really wanted to try this out because the form factor looks great. So what does this thing have? Well, like I said, it's a headphone amp and DAC. It uh, handles from a 44.1 kilohertz up to 128 DSD sample rates. It has an asynchronous USB interface, supports Toslink, and the amplifier itself has zero effective output impedance, which means it's pretty much compatible with everything out there. It can operate off of USB power or a wall ward. If you put it on a wall ward, it generates more power to your headphones. Probably one of the primary reasons I was really interested in this amp is it has a crossfeed circuit. And crossfeed makes certain types of recordings sound more natural, like the old school Beatles and uh, so forth in the early days of stereos where the, 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 the stereo spread was super, super wide and it sounds unnatural when you wear headphones. Now I got turned on to crossfeed because I have this Headroom Max headphone amplifier and it has a crossfeed circuit. This is a really nice headphone amplifier. It's a little older, but uh, they essentially spared no expense when they made it. And uh, the only downside for me is that it's awfully big and kind of hard to find a place for it. So I thought maybe it was worth trying the Grace because it has such a nice compact design. The main thing I'm curious about is, will it drive my LCD2s? I believe it will. Everything I've read leads me to believe that it will. I may have to plug it in to get that, but uh, uh, we'll find out. And when I do a review on this, I'll talk about that a bit more. So let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, at the top we have an owner's manual. Put it on pretty nice paper. I'll have a read of that later. Here's the unit itself, sort of shrink wrapped onto a piece of cardboard. Here are our cables, looks like USB. Yep. Um, another USB. I guess a short and a long. I don't know. Oh wow, and there's not a giant transformer, it's just a nice little power plug. That's really nice. That's great. I was thinking there would be a big power brick. So, okay, here's the amp. I guess I'll just cut it loose from this plastic. Do it from the top. And here it is. I'll get the box out of the way a little bit. Hopefully I'm focusing well. It's hard for me to tell. Um, so, two headphone outputs. Pretty cool. An LED readout. It's kind of a blue LED. And the volume control on the top. And wow, that feels really smooth. It's got detents in it. Feels really nice. I'm kind of a freak about volume controls. It's weighted, kind of. And it has a really nice feel. And on the back, these are the inputs, the Toslink uh, power supply and USB 2.0. And then I believe these are actually DAC outputs, so you could actually run this into an amplifier. I may try that. And then there's the Mass Drop logo, because this is a Mass Drop special. I believe they're firing up another one of these. You might want to look out on Mass Drop and uh, join the next buy. So that's about it. I'm going to plug this guy in a little later and check it out. I'm very excited to try it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.